Hey, so often we are getting a question, which connection should we choose when we connect a NAS to a, a Windows or, or Mac or, or Linux system? So there are a few options, usually this is SMB, AFP and NFS. Uh, there are other things like FTP and uh, WebDAV and iSCSI, but normally you would be mapping your network drive using these three uh, types. So SMB is something Windows created, so you would normally see this on Windows servers when you want to map Windows server to your Windows uh, PC. But it has become really universal protocol and it's actually been used by Linux and Mac systems as well nowadays. The performance is so good. AFP, that's something uh, Mac, Apple created for their Mac mini servers and their Mac uh, iMacs and Mac, uh, MacBook Airs, so the best performance you would expect uh, between these systems. And then there's um, NFS, this is something like Unix Linux based um, protocol, so you would expect the best performance on Linux servers connecting to Linux uh, clients. But what we're going to do in this video, we're going to check the performance uh, of all these three protocols. We're going to run a few tests on Linux. Uh, going to upload and download files uh, through uh, NFS, uh, AFP and SMB. We're going to do the same thing on Mac because deep, deep down it's actually Mac system is running on, on the Linux based um, uh, sort of backbone. So we're going to be able to actually test as well SMB, AFP and NFS on uh, Mac. And then we're going to do a test on Windows, but that's going to be only SMB test because that's Microsoft uh, protocol. AFP is um, um, Mac, Mac sort of uh, protocol and it's not going to be able, it's not going to work on uh, Windows unless you install a few things and, and, and play with the settings. The same is NFS. To be able to run NFS test on Windows, you need Windows Server type. Otherwise, it will not work. So we're going to do that SMB test only on Windows. But We'll see how it works. So let's check it out. Here we are. This is Linux. We're going to be copying uh, from from the NAS to the RPC. This is using um, NFS connection. So we're going to start the timer and we're going to speed it up a little bit so you don't need to wait so long uh, to see the performance. So. You can see now we have finished the test nearly and how long it's going to take. It's going to take 1 minute and 55, 57 seconds. You can slice off 2 seconds because of the mistake I, because of the time where I need to start and stop. So that's the reason. Now is that the test we are going to be uploading uh, to the server using um, NFS uh, protocol. So let those files copy, again fast forward, 1 minute 57, 55, um, that, that's the time. Uh, we are not trying to be really precise, but we just want to see the indicator is what average performances are like. So now we are connecting uh, through AFP, this is Mac protocol uh, or for Mac systems, but we're going to use it on Linux. And first thing what we're going to do, we're going to download from Synology using AFP down to the Mac. We're going to speed up the timer again. So we don't need to wait those two minutes or so until it's complete. So you can see the time is actually a little bit worse. It's around two minutes to download using this Mac protocol on the Linux. So this is something to consider. Obviously, this is not a Linux uh, or Unix or sort of protocol. That's why we could expect slower speeds. So now what we're going to do, upload using AFP protocol, which is again the Mac protocol. And uh, we're going to speed up the time. It should take probably around uh, two minutes as well. Maybe it's going to be quicker. So once this is done, we will be able to see that's around 2 minutes 15 seconds, 2 minutes 13 seconds to upload, upload using this Mac protocol inside Linux. This is Ubuntu. So the next thing we're going to try is SMB. 
So SMB download from Synology. Let's speed up the timer and see how long it's going to take SMB on Linux. So that was around below two minutes. That's very good results. So what we're going to do next, we're going to upload using SMB protocol to the Synology. So we're going to start the timer and paste the file. So we're going to again speed up the timer so we don't need to wait as long and we can see that we're going to cross two minute marks so around two minutes 15 seconds not that great as AFP actually so here's a little video if, if you want to see how to mount NFS on Mac because now we're moving on Mac system so we just mapped uh, NFS uh, protocol on, on this um, Mac system so it's going to be in a a Synology dedicated folder. First thing we're going to test, we're going to download from Synology to to the Mac system using this NFS a protocol. We're going to create a folder where we can put the files in. When we download, uh, we're going to start the timer again and see what the performance is going to be like. So start the timer, paste the file. Now we're using NFS protocol, which is a Linux protocol on Windows. So those, those were the results. What we're going to do now, we're going to upload the file to the Synology using this Linux AFP uh, NFS protocol. So we go online, start the timer, paste the file, speed it up a little bit so we can see that uploading these nine gigabytes a few video files are taking fairly long, 2 minutes 20 seconds. Not great. So this is how we mount SMB share now from Synology, uh, sorry, AFP. So this is going to be Linux, um, uh, not Linux, Mac uh, type of protocol. So you would expect this connection between Mac server and Mac client. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to download the file from Synology to Mac. So Synology is Linux based, Mac is, uh, Mac is Mac, AFP based. So we'll see what the result will be. So speed up the timer, downloading on a Mac from Synology using AFP and it's 1 minute 28. That's outstanding actually results for downloading. We're going to move on to uploading to Synology from Mac using this AFP protocol. On Snorgy we have enabled also AFP and what we need to do is paste this file so we can start the upload. So we created a folder, upload test. All we need to do is just paste the file in there, start the timer and then paste the file and see what the results be. Speeding this up a little bit. So uploading is slightly slow, but still good. 1 minute 57 seconds. So now we are going to move to SMB side of things. This is Windows sort of protocol. So we're going to use that to download and upload files from Synology to Mac. So first, first of all, we are going to download the file. So this is again this SMB way of connecting things. We're going to copy file from online and download it offline, speed the timer. So is it going to be below two minutes using SMB? No, it's actually quite, quite poor performance. Two minutes, 30 seconds to download from, Lin from Snorgy to Mac using SMB. So now we can test the upload. Maybe upload speeds will be better. So again, Uploading from Mac up to Synology. This is how we connect SMB share. Choose the video. Choose the share we want to upload to. In Synology, you will need to enable shared folder access. And then all you need to do on the Mac after you connect through SMB is then choose your shared folder, choose a destination and copy and paste your files, that, that's all. So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to paste the file 
and start the timer speed it up so this is uploading nine gigabytes of video files to online server using um, SMB so it's 1 minute 50 so now we are in Windows uh, we will need to go to my computer this computer and then uh, map network drive so you'll need to type in your Synology uh, IP address which in my case 10.05.105 if you want to automatically for the share to be mounted you can click uh, reconnect on login and then we're going to copy and paste from Synology down to Windows using SMB protocol so simply let's copy and paste that's all we need to do we're going to speed up this timer so we don't need to wait for two minutes until this is complete but the time it's going to be one minute and 48 seconds which is pretty good pretty good results for up, uh, downloading the files now we're going to do the same with upload in the speed time so we don't need to wait that long so we are uploading now to Synology and the speeds are 1 minute 52, 151. So here we have all of the performances in one table, how it performed in Windows, Linux and Mac using SMB, AFP and NFS uh, connections. So we can see that on Windows system, the best option would be to go for SMB unless you run Windows Server and you want to play with other settings. So it's clear enough. We, got, we did one test. On Linux system, we can choose between these three protocols and the best performance was uh, downloading NFS, uh, SMB and NFS. So the best was SMB option for downloading files. Uploading NFS was the fastest, 1 minute 46. And uh, when we moved to Mac system, the best performance was uh, using their own protocol AFP. And very close by it was actually NFS. When uploading, the best performance, SMB and AFP. So when you're making your choice, what sort of speed you need, what sort of um, solution you need, maybe these, these numbers will be helpful for you. So. If you have any questions, you can always come to NAS Compares and fill the form, send an email to us. If the question will be interesting, we can shoot a video like this so we can help others as well. And um, I hope this was helpful and have a good day.